Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And we couldn't agree more with the good lady from the 22nd. And um, would uh, also help you understand a little bit more about the elements of this bill that may draw some concern on our side, although we strongly support the idea of, of really improving the habitat and the quality of the, um, of the waters in the Puget Sound. It's been a priority of both caucuses. Um, more than a quarter of the um, Puget Sound uh, shoreline is uh, protected by uh, barriers or seawalls to protect from erosion into the Puget Sound and to protect the property along there. And a good portion um, is uh, mostly single family housing, especially on the islands. And when you talk about the island people, um, a lot of those places were established um, at, at the settlement of, of, the, of the state. And many of those um, properties continue to be held in single family housing and, and homes along there. The way the bill works is it uses high quality um, photo imaging, similar to what we have in Google, uh, Google Maps or, you know, Siri. And it, so it's geospatially located and those images will be made available. And when you look at some of the islands, um, a large percentage of some of the islands have, uh, were established with seawalls and, and their marine structures were built before there was a lot of permitting and oversight on the construction of those. And I think that that's where, you know, we wanna make sure that we don't put those homeowners and those families in jeopardy from uh, a regulatory infrastructure. So it's time that as a, a community, we come together and try to find those solutions. We instituted Puget Sound uh, partnership. We've got uh, WDFW that we're seeing increased compliance with the rules of permitting for improvements on the structures, repairs on those structures. And we want to in, in incorporate the opportunity that this uh, bill brings forward to really be, uh, bring that into new innovation and building opportunities for a habitat in a way that doesn't threaten the rights or the privacy of the people that have lived there for decades. And so in this way, I hope that we understand that the bill has a great potential. It's um, a great potential to do great uh, environmental well-being to the state. And so I will also be voting yes, although there may be a few that are still concerned about privacy. Thank you.